Good morning, everybody, and welcome to our Midweek Thought, which is going to be brought to you this week by Dave. Just a couple of reminders that if you want to add a square to our community quilt, wall hanging, corona, memory, blanket, uh, then please can I have your squares by the end of this week. So Friday is the latest to get those squares in. You can draw with fabric pens, you can sew, knit, stitch, whatever it is that you've done. Please, please send them in. I know some of you are worried. We've got all different sorts and it's going to look amazing, but it you want to contribute one then please do get it to me by Friday. Secondly we have our other project running now by the Saints for the Saints at All Saints where we're making our own um, version of this kind of booklet so you can send me three verses, you might want to send me a verse and a comment about why you find it so powerful, you might want to send me a verse and a little thought, a couple of people have sent me photographs and a thought I'm going to put it together in a booklet and it'd be amazing if we could have at least 30 um, people submit something because then we could have a book that would take us through September. And so if you'd like to do that, you just need to send me the content. I will format it into the booklet. You don't need to do anything fancy with it at all. Just send me your content for that booklet. I hope you're all staying safe and well. And on Sunday, we will have the next in our series where we're having conversations with people over the summer and I'll be joined by Andrew Catamol. Stay safe everyone, take care, God bless. Hi everybody, my name is Dave and welcome to our Midweek Thought. For our thought today, I'd like to share with you an experience that I've had over the last few weeks and it's really been building on the theme of prayer. And as most of you know, over the last month or so, Prayer has been the focus of our services, of our readings, of our prayer groups, our, our, our um, meeting groups. And some of the things that we talked about in those sessions was the different ways that we can pray. The fact that prayer can be informal. The fact that prayer is a conversation, a two-way conversation where we can talk, but also we should be listening to, to God speaking to us as well. And also that we can we can pray about anything, we can ask for anything, safe in the knowledge that God has a plan for us, although we can't see that plan in, in its full uh, in its full scale. But parts of that plan do get revealed to us as we go through life. And it's not a plan that's always going to be easy to follow, and it's not a plan that's always going to be going in the direction that we want. But nonetheless, there is a plan there, and it's a plan created by a loving God. So my situation over the last month, um, I've come to quite a, a critical decision point in my life, uh, my working life, and that is whether I continue to work or actually leave the company that I've been working for for the last 28 years. As you can imagine, not an easy decision. So reflecting on all that we had learned over the last month, I decided to, to put that decision to God in prayer, to ask him for his advice and not just rely as I normally do on my own instinct of, of how to deal with something and so I prayed about it and I asked for God's guidance on was I making the right decision and I felt that God was talking to me and through that conversation was saying to me yep yeah, it's okay I've got a plan for you you can leave this path we're gonna put you on another path can't quite tell you what that path is at the moment but trust me there is a path there and, it, and it's going to be a path that will turn out to be good for you so be relaxed in your decision, move on and, and let's unfold our plan or God's plan for me in the next phase of my life. Now, that conversation with God wasn't a light bulb moment or a blinding flash of light like I think many of us expect conversations to God would be. But for me, it was just a peacefulness, a, a feeling inside, thoughts and words that were coming together that were saying this is an okay thing to do it's okay to make this decision I'm going to be with you and I have a plan and that plan will unfold in due course I think when I discussed this in our in our um, in our uh, community in the week where we get together and talk about the Sunday service I shared this and we started to talk about the view that many of us are expecting this road to Damascus moment where 
God's voice booms to us from the heavens and shakes us and, and we know it's him because it's so powerful. But I think my experience, certainly in the last week and, and one other time in my life, is that God doesn't always talk to us like that. He, he talks to us in the way that we will respond to. Just as in human relationships, we have different styles of communication. So God has different styles. And I'm not sure I'm the sort of person that would respond very well to a booming voice or a, or a bolt of lightning. So God talking to me subtly in my mind, in my thoughts, when I sat quietly, I think that's the way that God decides I, I respond best. And that's the way that he wants to talk to me. So I'd like to encourage you, if, if you are dealing with some big decisions, if you're a bit uncertain about something, if you don't do it already, please, please put it to God in prayer and then listen. Listen openly and God will speak to you in a way that works for you, in a way that you will respond to and it will be different for all of us. So my encouragement for the next week is if you are facing something, please take it to God in prayer prayer being a conversation. Just talk it through, think it through, chat it through with God. And if you listen carefully, I feel sure that you too will hear a response. Amen.